Ubi is saying goodbye for now on your TV. But he's always with you at Noggin.com. Just click on Ubi and lend him a hand. Greetings, Goslings. Let's play a game. Let's play Starts With The Sound. Oh, and what have we here? Why, it's one of the greatest, most incredible, stupendous, most colossal letters of the alphabet. In other words, it's great. Do you know which letter it is? <coughs> Simply sublime. As you may know, this letter S sounds like this. Let's all make that sound together. Super. In fact, it's super duper. So many wonderful words start with Sip, sandwich, submarine, samba. In fact, there's a certain street that's chock full of the s sound. Sesame Street. Say the s part and I'll finish. Sesame. Again. Sesame. Yes. Coming right up is Sesame Street. So stay seated. Now it's story time on Noggin. The story of Mei Lin and the Magic Paintbrush. In China, there once lived a young field worker named Mei Lin who dreamed of being a great artist. But he was so poor, he could not buy a brush to paint with. One night, he was visited by an old wizard. You have worked very hard, and you have earned this, he said, handing Mei Lin a beautiful brush. Use it wisely, said the wizard, for it has great power. On his wall, Mei Lin painted a rooster. Suddenly, the rooster leapt off the wall and flew away. It was a powerful brush indeed. The next day, Mei Lin came upon a farmer struggling to plow his rice paddy. With his brush, he painted a water buffalo to pull the plow, and Mei Lin used the brush to help many others. When the greedy Mandarin, who ruled the land, heard of the magic brush, he ordered Mei Lin to paint him a pile of coins. Mei Lin refused, and the Mandarin threw him in jail. That night, Mei Lin used his magic brush to draw a door and escape. But soon the Mandarin caught Mei Lin. This time, he took the brush away. But in his greedy hands, the brush was useless. The Mandarin handed the brush to Mei Lin. Paint me a mountain of gold. Mei Lin painted a mountain of gold in the middle of a great sea. He painted a ship to take the Mandarin to the mountain. When the Mandarin reached the gold, Mei Lin painted a dark cloud, which brought a great storm, destroying the boat and leaving the greedy Mandarin trapped forever, all alone on top of his mountain of gold. Mei Lin had used the brush wisely, indeed. The next one. My name is Andrea, and I'm going to tell you the story about the boy in the magic paintbrush. The boy loved music and he decided to paint a band. The boy painted the instruments and they came alive. First he painted a drum, rat a tat tat and then he painted a flute, and then he painted a horn, and a tambourine, then he painted a piano, and he played like this, and then he painted cymbals, they all made beautiful, sweet music. And then they made a show. The instruments played by themselves, so they went all over the world playing whatever you asked for. And whoever heard the music had to sing. La, 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 la. <laughs> and whoever heard the music had to dance. <laughs> and they made money to buy food for everyone who was hungry. And the boy was happy, and everyone who heard the music was happy, and the instruments were happy, and they lived happily ever after the end. Wet. Dry. Wet. 
dry. Now you tell me. Wet, wet. The world is wet. We used to have to get up before sunrise, walk 10 miles to get to school, and 10 miles back again. Uphill, both ways, in the snow. In a blizzard. Barefoot. <laughs> Barefoot. Jennifer, you ready for noggin? Uh-huh. Children can master as much in their first five years as they will for the rest of their lives. Give your preschooler engaging ways to connect their curiosity to learning and their learning to their world with Noggin. Noggin brings the wonder, variety, and stimulation of preschool right into your living room seven days a week, completely commercial free. Maybe we should have taken a bus. There was a bus? Noggin. It's like preschool on TV. All day, every day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hey everybody, Z and I have learned a stupendous new dance. We'll teach it to you. Ready, Z? Here we go. Open, close, open, close. Open, close, open, close. Up and down and up and down. Up and down and up and down. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Clap, clap, clap. Now let's put it all together. Open, open close, close, open, open close. close. Up and down and up and down. down. Hot, hot dog, hot dog. dog. Yum, yum, yum. 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 And clap, clap, clap. clap. Ooh, what a workout. Play With Me Sesame has new friends, new games, and more chances to move and groove. Play With Me Sesame! It's your turn to play every day at 8 a.m. Eastern and Pacific. Only on Noggin. Okay, everyone, take five. Don't be scared, Z. There's no snake here. It was just me making the s sound. S you there, show Z what I mean. Make the s sound. Z, Z. S sorry. You'll feel better watching Sesame Street, and happily, it's up next on Noggin. Noggin presents... <laughs> flower one, flower two, flower three. Hello, that's Grover's hand. One, two, three. Sesame See you later, Maisie. You can always keep playing with this mouse by using your mouse. Go to noggin.com and click on Maisie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh. Greetings, everyone. There's only one thing I like as well as pies, and that's playing games with you. Hey, let's play first, second, third. There are three doors here. I happen to know Miffy is behind one of them. Let's find out if Miffy is behind the first, second, or third door. Knock, knock. Is Miffy here behind the first door? No! Oh, well. Let's try the next door. In other words, the second door. Knock, knock. Is Miffy here behind the second door? Yeah! Well, what do you know? Here's Miffy. Let's see if Miffy's behind the third door. Knock, knock. No! Hmm. Well, she's not behind the third door. So, which door was Miffy behind? The second door. That's right, clever cousins. Miffy was behind the second door. And Miffy and Friends also happens to be coming up in just a bit. Now it's time to take coloring. It's mixed in this big vat. What would you draw? Hi everybody, time to use your noggin. How do you use your noggin, you say? Well, here's how you use it every day. Use your noggin when you write a letter. Use your noggin when you make it better. Use your noggin when you play guitar. Use your noggin to 
spot a star. Use your noggin when you make a scene. Use your noggin when you mix up green. Use your noggin to play a game. When you use your noggin, it's never the same. Use your noggin to sing a song. Ask another noggin to sing along. Use your noggin with your computer. Hey, that's Z. What could be cuter? Use your noggin. That's what it's for. I'm using my noggin. Are you using yours? Empty. Full. <laughs> Empty. Full. <laughs> now the glasses. Uh... It's empty, Cactus. And now the glass is... It's full! Full! <laughs> Hello, Ernie! Um, uh, Ernie? Hmm. Hmm. Look, Z, it's Zoe and Grover. Huh, I wonder what they're doing. They all seem to be waiting for something, but what could it be, Z? Oh, of course, they're waiting for you. Ernie says, touch the part of your face that you smell with. You dance with your whole body, too. There's still no show without you. Play with me, Zoe. <laughs> it's your turn to play. Every day at 8 a.m. Eastern and Pacific, only on Noggin. Pretend spider. <laughs> itsy bitsy. Itsy bitsy. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yeah. Itsy bitsy. <laughs> yeah. You, Itsy Bitsy. You, Itsy Bitsy. The Itsy Bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yeah, Itsy Bitsy. <laughs> Oh, hi. The friend who's always with you. Watch out for his new show. Every day and weekends, too. At 8.30 Eastern and Pacific. Only on Noggin. Hello there. It's Moose A. Moose. Want to come along with me? Let's see who we'll meet. Yes, you too, Z. A, B, C. C, who's here at Noggin. D, E, F, G. G, it's the tweenies jogging in. H, I, I can't wait to meet Miffy. J, K, L, M, N, O. Oh my, she looks spiffy. P, Q, R. Are you here too, good friend? S, T, U. You know, Ubi. Got a greeting to send? V, W, X, Y. Why look, Dora and Blue are coming too. There are so many friends coming to play with you. I think I've forgotten something. Now, well, what can it be? Oh, yes, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Z, your preschooler can find new things to think and do with new shows, new friends, and your Nick Jr. favorites on the new Noggin. It's like preschool on TV from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. That's right, Z. Weekends, too. Oh, mm. Howdy. You did such a stupendous job playing first, second, and third. Uh, want to see more of Miffy? Well, there's a mighty cute bunny coming up next on Noggin, and her name just happens to be... Miffy! You betcha. Thank <laughs> you.
Hi everybody, Moose A. Moose here. Let's play rhyme with me. We can rhyme all kinds of words. I can think of words that rhyme with different kinds of flowers. Let's see, what rhymes with rose? Toes. Rose, toes, good one. Let's do another flower. Hmm, I know, daisy. What's a word that rhymes with daisy? Hmm. There's crazy, lazy, hazy. It would be so very delightful if I could think of another word that rhymes with daisy. What's that? You know something that rhymes with daisy? Can you all help out? Come on, shout it out. Maisie. Of course, you are so very right. Maisie rhymes with daisy. And as luck would have it, Maisie coming up. Now it's time for Art Alive, a noggin. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Jack. What's yours? I don't know. Okay. Your name's Sam, and you're a train driver. Choo-choo. A train driver? But I don't have a train. I'll make you one. Hooray! All right! Yeah! All right! Woo! Drive it now? Okay. Put me in, please. This is the way in, but you're too big. I'll have to make you smaller, Sam. He might fit now. But this isn't a train, it's only an engine. And I'm a train driver. Then I'll make you some train cars. That would be great. Can we have red ones, please? Okay. That looks good. along with me? Let's see who we'll meet. Yes, you too, Z. A, B, C. C, who's here at Noggin. D, E, F, G. G, it's the tweenies jogging in. H, I, I can't wait to meet Missy. G.
J-K-L-M-N-O. Oh my, she looks spiffy. P-Q-R. Are you here too, good friend? S-T-U. You know, Ubi. Got a greeting to send? V-W-X-Y. Why look, Dora and Blue are coming too. There are so many friends coming to play with you. I think I've forgotten something. Now, well, what can it be? Oh, yes, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Z, your preschooler can find new things to think and do with new shows, new friends, and your Nick Jr. favorites on the new Noggin. It's like preschool on TV from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. That's right, Z. Weekends, too. Boasting about your preschooler's artistic genius just got easier. Send your kid to Noggin.com's Doodle Pad to draw, sketch, or scribble something summery. Noggin's taking real preschoolers' real works of art about summer and putting them on TV all summer long. Genius won't wait. Just go to Noggin.com and click Doodle Pad. How do you use your Noggin? I like to draw my family. This is my sister. This is me. I'm a bit bigger. This is my mother. And this is my father. He wears glasses. He's like a bit taller than my mom. And I'm going to draw her a big tummy for the baby. How do you spell family? I'm using my noggin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's ostrich. Aw for ostrich. What color balloon would you like, Maisie? Now it's time for Critter Corner on Noggin. Let's visit with some little birds today. These are pet birds. They live inside. Look at this cute blue birdie. That's Z's cousin, Buster. Hey, you two. No fighting. Hello there, Buster. Yes, we see you. I'll tell Z you said hello. friends hello how are you could i borrow your ears for a minute or two i'd like to sing you a little song just use your noggins and follow along the story's about my friends the tweenies there's bella and milo and fizz and jake not big kids or babies they're right in betweeny hey why don't we count them let's try it okay there's one tweeny two tweenies three tweenies four you counted the tweenies, now I'll tell you more. They've got their own playgroup and you can come too. Every time they're together, they learn something new. Like how to use windmills, or why the stars glow, or what kind of colors are in a rainbow. They've got a dog, Doodles, he likes to play. Hey, pretend that you're Doodles, let's try it, okay? Get down on the floor on your hands and your knees. Now wag your tail, now bark and sneeze. Now turn in a circle and plop on the floor. Now lift up your ears and I'll tell you more. They count and explore and pretend just like you do. They draw and make things and play games just like you do. They dance and they sing and tell stories like you do. I think I know why and I think you do too. I think it's because you're not big or little. I think it's because you're right in the middle. So now can you guess, oh my, is it true? It is, you're right, you're a tweeny too. There's one tweeny, two tweeny, three tweenies, four. Plus you and your friends, that makes a lot more. Now that my story has come to an end, I thank you for listening, my very good friend. Oh, wait, I'm nearly forgetting one thing. The thing tweenies love more than anything. Do you know what it is? Yes, I think that you do. What tweenies love most is to play with you. Join the tweenies on Noggin each day, because the tweenies are always ready to play. The tweenies, every day at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, only on Noggin. Did you guess that Daisy rhymes with Maisie? You can rhyme, you sure know how. But did you know our friend Maisie is coming up now? Gee, Z, I'm a poet and I don't know it.
Visit the Tweenies at Noggin.com any time of the day. Because at Noggin.com, the Tweenies are always ready to play. Greetings, Goslings. Let's play a game. Let's play Starts with the Sound. Oh, and what have we here? Why, it's one of the greatest, most incredible, stupendous, most colossal letters of the alphabet. In other words, it's great. Do you know which letter it is? <coughs> Simply sublime. As you may know, this letter S sounds like this. Let's all make that sound together. Super. In fact, it's super duper. So many wonderful words start with Sip, sandwich, submarine, samba. In fact, there's a certain street that's chock full of the sound. Sesame Street. Say the s part and I'll finish. Sesame. Again. Sesame. Yes. Coming right up is Sesame Street. So stay seated. for Art Alive on Noggin. Go, 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 go. 
your noggin. I like to say the day Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I use my noggin. Bingo ball, bingo ball, bingo ball. Heroes of the universe, adventure every day from their home in space. Calling Bing and Bong. They're having a party on the tiny planet of stuff, and the shapes are having trouble finding the right clothes. Your mission is to match them up. Good luck. to make the new shape.
Don't be scared, Z. There's no snake here. It was just me making the sound. You there, show Z what I mean. Make the sound. Z, Z. Sorry. You'll feel better watching Sesame Street. And happily, it's up next on Noggin. Noggin presents... <laughs> flower one, flower two, flower three. Hello, that's Grover's hand. One, two, three. Sesame Street! Hello, everybody. I was thinking we'd play the What Starts With game. What do you think, Z? Oh, great! I'm excited, too. Ready? Okay, let's play What Starts With the B sound. In other words, B. Say it with me. Come on. B. 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 Superb. Okie doke. Let's see what starts with B. There's baby, bathtub, Butter. Why, even a butterfly starts with a but. Excellent point, Z. A bumblebee starts with but, too. I bet you can think of lots of things that start with a but sound. Bat, bashful, bells. Yes, Z, a big box. Big and box both start with a but. What? There's something else here that starts with buh? Hmm, what could it be? Do you know? Bird! Yes, indeedy. Bert starts with a buh sound. And speaking of starting with Bert, Play With Me Sesame is coming up in just a bit. It's time to move to the music on Noggin. We love this song! <laughs> you know it? It's called She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. Coming round the mountain. Coming round the mountain when she comes. Singing aye, aye, yippee, yippee. Fly horses when she comes. Oh, She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. Yeah. She'll be driving six white horses. Driving six white horses. Driving six white horses when she comes. Yeah. Singing aye aye Little bunny, 
she's got good looks with an outlook that's sunny. Why, it's Miffy, and she's got a brand new show. And that's not all. She's got friends, don't you know? There's one friend and another, cute as can be. And here's one more friend, and that makes... Three! Let's add Miffy's dog, Snuffy. One, two, three... Four! And Miffy makes five, and that's even more. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five new friends. And here is where our counting ends. Watch for Miffy and Friends every day at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 a.m. Pacific, only on Noggin. Hi, everybody. Time to use your Noggin. Huh? How do you use your Noggin, you say? Well, here's how you use it every day. Use your Noggin when you draw a friend. Use your Noggin when you twist and bend. Use your Noggin when you spot a new. Use your Noggin when you solve. Stick with glue. Use your noggin when you count. Can you? Use your noggin when you tell a story. Use your noggin when you say. Oh, I'm sorry. Use your noggin when you find a way. Use your noggin when you shout. Hooray! Use your noggin when you bake a cake. Huh, it's okay when you make a mistake. Use your noggin. That's what it's for. I'm using my noggin. Are you using yours? Wet. Dry. Wet. Dry. Now you tell me. Wet, wet. The word is wet. Dry. Well, you did a beautiful job finding a word that starts with a buh sound. Got any more words that start with buh, z? B. Well, z, that's one buh word I wish you'd found sooner. Ah, oh, me. At least Play With Me Sesame is coming up next on Noggin. Somebody come and play, any time of day. Ernie, Bert, Grover, and Prairie Dawn are all at Noggin.com. Just click on Play With Me, Sesame. Hello, Moose A. Moose here. Let's play a game. Let's play which shape is biggest. Are you ready? Ready! Mm, terrific. Okay, here we have three triangles. Show them the triangles, Z. Now let's see which of these triangles is the biggest. Is it this one? No. no! Right you are. That triangle is not the biggest one here. Is it this triangle here? No! Right again. In fact, you are correct. That triangle is also not the biggest one here. How about this triangle? Is this the biggest triangle here? Yeah! yeah. Hooray for yeah. you! You knew that that triangle was the biggest triangle here. Did you notice that all the triangles have ooby inside? Huh, that biggest ooby is coming up soon. Now it's story time on Noggin. The story of the clever turtle. Once upon a time, there lived a turtle that played beautiful music with his flute in the forest. One day, a man walking through the forest heard the music. And when he saw the turtle, he decided to bring him home to make turtle soup. He put the turtle in a cage and told his children, don't let this turtle out. And he went back to work in his garden. The turtle played his flute and danced, which made the children laugh. Then the turtle stopped. Dance some more, said the children. There's not enough room in this cage. Let me out, and then I can, said the turtle. So the children opened the cage, and the turtle began to dance closer and closer to the woods. 
suddenly, he danced right under a bush and disappeared into the forest. Worried that their father would be mad, the children painted a rock to look like the turtle. When it was time for dinner, the father thought the painted rock was the turtle, and he began to cook it. He stirred and stirred and waited and waited, but something was terribly wrong. This soup would not cook. He was cooking a rock. But where was the turtle? The children told him that the turtle had tricked them, and he had escaped. Now they were sorry they had tricked their father. The next day, their father went back into the forest and searched and searched, but there was no sign of the clever turtle anywhere. And that one happened. Hi, my name is Zone, and this is what I think happened to the turtle. The turtle ran away and went to the ocean. Turtles are good swimmers, you know. And he swam like this. And suddenly, a seahorse named Tom came next to him, and the seahorse was tired. So Turtle decided to help Tom. So he flipped over, and he became a boat, and his hands became boots. And Tom the seahorse got on top of him, and they rode and rode and rode until they came to a cave. The cave was where Kevin the octopus lived. He was really a funny guy. Hi, Turtle. Hi, seahorse. Come live with me. And so they became really good friends. Played hide and go seek together. And there's lots of good places to hide in the ocean. And they played ring around the rosy. And that was funny because Kevin had lots of arms to hold on to. Favorite game was underwater basketball. And they liked to shoot like this. The octopus taught the turtle how to dribble underwater. It was fun, and every day they had a great time, and they lived happily ever after the end. Ubi dance. Oh, hi. Ubi dance, you dance. You dance. Ubi dance, you dance together. Everyone can play along with Ubi. Now there's more Ubi, more games, more you, when Ubi gets his very own half-hour show. Ubi, you, friends. <laughs> Ooh. Every day and weekends, too, at 8.30 Eastern and Pacific, only on Noggin. W. Wah. It's for washing. That <laughs> 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 Again. Uphill, both ways, in the snow. In a blizzard. Barefoot. <laughs> Barefoot. <laughs> Jennifer, you ready for noggin? Uh-huh. Children can master as much in their first five years as they will for the rest of their lives. Give your preschooler engaging ways to connect their curiosity to learning and their learning to their world with Noggin. Noggin brings the wonder, variety, and stimulation of preschool right into your living room seven days a week, completely commercial free. Maybe we should have taken a bus. There was a bus? Noggin. It's like preschool on TV. All day, every day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hey, everybody. Z and I have learned a stupendous new dance. We'll teach it to you. Ready, Z? Here we go. Open, close, open, close. Open, close, open, close. Up and down and up and down. Up and down and up and down. Hot dog, hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Clap, clap, clap. Now let's put it all together. Open, close. Open, close, up and down, and up and down. Hot dog, hot dog, yum, 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 clap, clap, clap. Oh, what a workout. Play With Me Sesame has new friends, new games, 
and more chances to move and groove. Play with me and sense me! It's your turn to play every day at 8 a.m. Eastern and Pacific. Only on Noggin. Okay, everyone, take five. Hello again. I remember you. You were the one who knew which triangle was the biggest. Z also remembers that Ubi is coming up. Did you? Well, just in case you forgot, guess what? Ubi's next on Noggin. Want more time with your favorite turtle? Play with them anytime at Noggin.com. Just click on Franklin. Greetings, everyone. What would you say to a little game of what's the same, what's different? Yeah. 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 Here we have some utterly delightful pictures. Yes, but one of these pictures is different. In other words, not the same as the others. Can you guess which one? Is this the picture that's different? No! no. no. Aha! You are correct. In fact, you're right. And what about this one? No! no. Hmm, you cannot be tricked or even fooled. So tell me, is this the picture that's different? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You are right. This is not the same. This is the picture of a bulldozer. And the other pictures are all pictures of Bob the Builder. And he's coming up in a little bit. Now it's time to move to the music on Noggin. If the big ship sails on the alley alley -o. The big ship sails on the alley alley -o. The alley alley -o. The alley alley -o. The big ship sails on the alley alley -o. On the last day of September. Alley alley -o. Alley -o. On the last day of September. Let's wag our fingers like the captain now.
noggin when you say, oh, I'm sorry. Use your noggin when you find a way. Use your noggin when you shout, hooray. Use your noggin when you bake a cake. Huh, it's okay when you make a mistake. Use your noggin, that's what it's for. I'm using my noggin. Are you using yours? Hmm, what's the weather like today? Will you go outside or stay in to play? Is it sunny or is it snowy? Is it rainy or is it blowy? But whatever the weather, I still have to say, isn't this a wonderful day? N-O-G-G-I-N, noggin. Hello, Ernie. Um, uh, Ernie? Hmm. Hmm. Look, Z, it's Zoe and Grover. Huh, I wonder what they're doing. They all seem to be waiting for something. But what could it be, Z? Oh, of course. They're waiting for you. Ernie says, touch the part of your face that you smell with. You dance with your whole body, too. There's still no show without you. Play with me, Zachary. It's your turn to play. Coming up next on Noggin. Welcome. Did you know which pictures were the same? Two of those pictures were lovely portraits of our dear friend, Bob the Builder. And he happens to be coming up right now, here on Noggin. Goat. Goose. Gate. Oh, hello. I was just in the middle of thinking things that start with the letter G and make the G sound. Can you make the G sound? G. Splendid. In other words, very good. Now let's see. Ghost, gorilla, gorgonzola. Oh, oh Z's found another good G word. Let's play the what starts with game. Game. Game starts with what sound? G. Good going. Now, let's see. Does Miffy start with a G sound? No. no. Correct. But what about Ubi? Does Ubi start with a G? No. no. Gosh, you are good. Well, then, what do you think? Does Gullah Gullah Island start with a G sound? Golly, Gullah Gullah does start with G, and Gullah Gullah Island is starting soon. Now it's time for Critter Corner on Noggin. Well, hello, puppy. Don't be shy. Puppies are baby dogs who love to chew sticks. Though no, chewing ropes is just as nice. Chewing in general is what they like. Hey! Guess who's on a brand new adventure and heading to your town? It's Dora the Explorer, live on stage. Now you and your family can explore with Dora and all her friends, live. Oh, man. So come join the adventure. It's Dora the Explorer, live. Presented by Crest and Teddy Grams. Coming to Kansas City, Phoenix, Denver, Los Angeles. Go to nickjr.com for your city. We used to have to get up before sunrise. Walk 10 miles to get to school and 10 miles back again. Uphill, both ways, in the snow. In a blizzard. Barefoot. <laughs> Barefoot. <laughs> Jennifer, you ready for noggin? Uh-huh. Children can master as much in their first five years as they will for the rest of their lives. Give your preschooler engaging ways to connect their curiosity to learning and their learning to their world with Noggin. Noggin brings the wonder, variety, and stimulation of preschool right into your living room seven days a week, completely commercial free. Maybe we should have taken a bus. 
Yes, it was a bus. Noggin. It's like preschool on TV. All day, every day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now it's time for Art Alive on Noggin. on that last game, guys and girls. Z, did you think of any words that start with guh? Hmm, it seems Z thought of another G word that starts with a guh. Gum. And Gullah Gullah Island is up next on Noggin. So don't go away. This show is made for Noggin by Nick Jr. Okay, everybody, let's play a game. Let's play Can You Find? Are you ready? Yeah! Fantastic! These are all pictures of our friend, Franklin. He is inside three different shapes. Can you find the square? Hmm, is this the square? No! You're right, that's a circle. 
Okay, is this the square? No! You got it again. Three sides make this shape a triangle. Now how about this one? Is this the square? Yeah! Correct! In other words, you are right. You found Franklin in the square. You sure are mighty good at playing Can You Find. Oh, now get ready. Franklin's coming up. Now it's story time on Noggin. The story of the clever turtle. Once upon a time, there lived a turtle that played beautiful music with his flute in the forest. One day, a man walking through the forest heard the music, and when he saw the turtle, he decided to bring him home to make turtle soup. He put the turtle in a cage and told his children, don't let this turtle out, and he went back to work in his garden. The turtle played his flute and danced, which made the children laugh. Then the turtle stopped. Dance some more, said the children. There's not enough room in this cage. Let me out, and then I can, said the turtle. So the children opened the cage, and the turtle began to dance closer and closer to the woods. Suddenly, he danced right under a bush and disappeared into the forest. Worried that their father would be mad, the children painted a rock to look like the turtle. When it was time for dinner, the father thought the painted rock was the turtle, and he began to cook it. He stirred and stirred and waited and waited, but something was terribly wrong. This soup would not cook. He was cooking a rock. But where was the turtle? The children told him that the turtle had tricked them and he had escaped. Now they were sorry they had tricked their father. The next day, their father went back into the forest and searched and searched, but there was no sign of the clever turtle anywhere. <laughs> My name is Norman, and I'm five, and I, this is what I think what happened to Clever Turtle. The turtle ran into the woods and hide behind the tree. Guess what? There was a big bear hiding behind that tree, too. And the bear said, get up on my shoulders. I'll help you out. Let's go for a swim. And put the turtle on his back like a knapsack. They got into the river and they jumped in. They swam like this. Uh-oh! Suddenly they got stuck in a patch of quicksand. The bear said, help! And the turtle said, help! Then there was a poop and a fairy appeared. And she was a good fairy. And she said, Hoka Poka! And the quicksand disappeared. And they had a picnic. It was awesome. They ate bananas and apples and chocolate ice cream. It was happy ever after the end. Hello there. It's Moose A. Moose. Want to come along with me? Let's see who we'll meet. Yes, you too, Z. A, B, C. C, who's here at Noggin. D, E, F, G. G, it's the tweenies jogging in. H, I, I can't wait to meet Miffy. J, K, L, M, N, O. Oh my, she looks spiffy. P, Q, R. Are you here too, good friend? S, T, U. You know, Ubi. Got a greeting to send? V, W, X, Y. Why look, Dora and Blue are coming too. There are so many friends coming to play with you. I think I've forgotten something. Now, what can it be? Oh, yes, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Z, your preschooler can find new things to think and do with new shows, new friends, and your Nick Jr. favorites on the new Noggin. It's like preschool on TV from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. That's right, Z. Weekends, too. Hello, my friends. Hello, how are you? Could I borrow your ears for a minute or two? I'd like to sing you a little song. Just use your noggins and follow along. The story's about my friends, the tweenies. There's Bella and Milo and Fizz and Jake. Not big kids or babies, they're right in between. Hey, why don't we count them? Let's try it, okay? There's one tweenie, two tweenies, three tweenies, four. 
You counted the tweenies, now I'll tell you more. They've got their own playgroup and you can come too. Every time they're together, they learn something new. Like how to use windmills, or why the stars glow, or what kind of colors are in a rainbow. They've got a dog doodle, he likes to play. Hey, pretend that you're doodles, let's try it, okay? Get down on the floor on your hands and your knees. Now wag your tail. Now bark and sneeze, now turn in a circle and plop on the floor. Now lift up your ears and I'll tell you more. They count and explore and pretend just like you do. They draw and make things and play games just like you do. They dance and they sing and tell stories like you do. I think I know why and I think you do too. I think it's because you're not big or little. I think it's because you're right in the middle. So now can you guess, oh my, is it true? It is, you're right, you're a tweeny too. There's one tweeny, two tweeny, three tweeny. For, plus you and your friends, that makes a lot more. Now that my story has come to an end, I thank you for listening, my very good friend. Oh wait, I'm nearly forgetting one thing. The thing tweenies love more than anything. Do you know what it is? Yes, I think that you do. What tweenies love most is to play with you. Join the tweenies on Noggin each day, cause the tweenies are always ready to play. The tweenies, every day at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, only on Noggin. Oh. Oh. it today look at the calendar what does it say today is wednesday wednesday oh, go out and make new friends day it's a gee i hope it never ends day so clap your hands and give a cheer you know what i want to hear hooray hooray today is wednesday It's time to take a field trip on Noggin. Boasting about your preschooler's artistic genius just got easier. Send your kid to Noggin.com's doodle pad to draw, sketch, or scribble something summery. Noggin's taking real preschoolers' real works of art about summer and putting them on TV all summer long. Genius won't wait. Just go to Noggin.com and click doodle pad. Exceptional. You found Franklin in the square shape. And coincidentally, our friend Franklin's coming up next on Noggin. Ubi is saying goodbye for now on your TV. But he's always with you at Noggin.com. Just click on Ubi and lend him a hand. Hello, everyone. I'm talking very loudly right now, but I can talk louder. In fact, I'm the loudest moose around. I know. Let's play Which Door is Loudest? Hey, if you want to play, say yes, but very softly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. You'll have to say yes much louder. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Wow! That was certainly louder. In fact, it was much louder. Now let's see if you can guess which door the tweenies are hiding behind. Here's a clue. The tweenies are behind the loudest door. So, you think none of these doors is loud, hmm? Uh, Z, try ringing each of these doors doorbells, would you please? So if the tweenies are behind the door with the loudest doorbell, would it be this one? No. no. Hmm. Would it be this one? No. no. Hmm. Well, is it the second door that had the very loudest doorbell then? Yes. yes. What's that you say? I can't hear you. Yes. Yes, that is the loudest doorbell. 
and I'm sure with all this doorbell ringing, the tweenies will be out very soon. Now it's time for show and tell on Noggin. Hey, let's figure out what this is. Hmm, this one is pretty tricky. Ah, there's some yellow. Uh-huh, starting to figure this one out. Do you know what it is now? It's a flower. Yes, indeedy. It's a flower. In fact, it's a sunflower. What a pretty show and tell that was. Your noggin. Hard to hide. I have a best hiding spot in hide and seek. I always find my sister, but she's hard. But I always find her. I hide under my mom's dad's bed, and I go on the top of it like Spider-Man. I'm using my noggin. L. L. <laughs> oh, what a pretty lemon tree. L is for Mmm, <laughs> fresh milk. Mmm, yummy. Oh, Maisie, I can think of one more word that starts with ma. Ma is for Maisie. <laughs> Boasting about your preschooler's artistic genius just got easier. Send your kid to Noggin.com's Doodle Pad to draw, sketch, or scribble something summery. Noggin's taking real preschoolers' real works of art about summer and putting them on TV all summer long. Genius won't wait. Just go to Noggin.com and click Doodle Pad. Hi, everybody. Time to use your noggin. How do you use your noggin, you say? Well, here's how you use it every day. Use your noggin when you write a letter. Use your noggin when you make it better. Use your noggin when you play guitar. Use your noggin to spot a star. Use your noggin when you make a scene. Use your noggin when you mix up green. Use your noggin to play a game. When you use your noggin, it's never the same. Use your noggin to sing a song. Ask another noggin to sing along. Use your noggin with your computer. Hey, that's Z. What could be cuter? Use your noggin. That's what it's for. I'm using my noggin. Are you using yours? Give out a loud hooray if you found the tweenies behind the door with the loudest bell. Hooray! Oh, that's wonderfully ear-splitting. In fact, it was very loud. Now, I bet if we ask in our nice, soft, indoor voices, the tweenies might come play. Let's all call very softly together. Tweenies. Tweenies. Good work. Your melodious voices have summoned the tweenies. In fact, they're on their way. Next on Noggin. 